Jennifer, these are the hands of the one who is promising to love you and cherish you all the days of your life together. These are the hands that will work long hours to earn a living for you in the family with which God blesses you. These are the hands that will be nicked and bruised from trying to fix things around your house to make you more comfortable. These are the hands that may sometimes look a little calloused and a little tough, but will be gentle as he holds your baby for the first time, God willing. These are the hands that will wipe the tears away from your eyes. You keeping your abs tight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Thanks, man. See Sancho, these are the hands of the one who is promising to love you and cherish you all the days of her life. These hands may be young and smooth now, but, but one day might be lined and rough because of the work inside and outside of the home as she seeks to make your family's life strong and healthy and fruitful. Sancho, the one whose hand you hold is to be your wife. May your life and may your love be a rock and an inspiration to her. husband Sancho. As you are reading this letter, I am getting ready for our first look. The day has finally come. The months, days, and moments leading up to our wedding day have been a roller coaster. We have our highest times and our low times, and I'm grateful to have you by my side and reminding me time and time again, this is our day. Enjoy. Be mindful as we join together as one. My love for you grows stronger each and every day. God blessed me when he sent you in my life. Thank you for all you are and all that you do. You're my one and only true love, and I cannot wait to be your wife. I love you till the end of time. The engraved watch is a timepiece that symbolizes our new beginning as husband and wife. It will last a lifetime. See you at 2 p.m. I love you. That's awesome. Babe, remember when you visited my mom for the first time and brought her flowers? That was the moment when she had just met her future daughter-in-law. Months later, I went to the cemetery and I told her that I'm going to marry you. I shared with her that I found my absolute dream girl. I said to her, Mom, Jennifer takes care of me like you did. She sits right next to me at church and prays with me just like you did. I said, Jennifer believes in me more than I believe in myself, just like you would. I told my mom, she cries with me but assures me that everything will be okay the way you did. Jennifer laughs and jokes with me, encouraging me to be my true self, just like you used to. And mom, I told her, she loves me just as much as I love her, just like you did. I love you so much, Jennifer, and I will be in love with you until death do us part. The 
thing that makes these two so fantastic for one another, and I said it earlier to someone at the bar, um, is that they get more joy out of making the other person happy than they do making themselves happy. It's, it's reciprocal. It's really beautiful. When you look at them, they are so in love. It's, they're each other's soulmate, or better yet, they're each other's swolemate. Right? I couldn't imagine anybody else for her. And Spoon is the right one.